Hello everyone and welcome to another session of Let's Play Caveman to Cosmos with me, Alpha P Omega. Now, first things first, I increase the difficulty. In the bug menu, there is an option to change the difficulty uh, mid-game, so it is now immortal. I'm pretty sure that we were playing on Emperor before, so this should give AI a bit of uh, a breathing space to catch up with me. There's at least one civilization that we know of, uh, well, we don't know of it as it is now, but uh, I know in the rankings that there's one more civilization uh, that's doing better than I am. So this will hopefully make it grow even faster. Now, uh, what is my target today? Oh damn, <laughs> it already kicked in. Uh, my economy just went to shit. <laughs> Yeah, and I expect unhappiness to pop up and unhealthiness. I think this changes uh, some of the internal settings of the cities as well. We should see it right about now. Yes, the Kotininuta has become unhappy. So what's the problem? 48 and 40. Tumulus is not going to help, so we need something else. Do we have something that would increase happiness? This would with Divine Cult. We don't have Divine Cult. Smoke Signals wouldn't... Jump Rope would. So build me a Jump Rope. And... Um, is that really it? Oh, we can build a Silver Mine! Holy crap, that's so cool. However, this... This is really weird, it seems like we're done here. Come on, there has to be something. Dried fish maker, to most dark kennels. Town hall doesn't help either. Hmm. The silver mine has to be put, but there has to be something else. No, just graveyard and we are not that desperate so damn well wasn't there something else that we could use dog worker holy crap oh, let's build a dog worker but I think storyteller oh yes I'm pretty sure that storyteller could help uh, by building some of its buildings. Okay, but the Kulti Ninurta is the only one, and that's actually pretty cool. It could be way worse. You can go here now and do your thing there. So the. Oh my god, minus 48! Holy shit! What is that? <laughs> well. That's how you deal with increasing difficulty. I guess uh, the distance to capital just kicked in, maybe. Something like that. It might be it. Hmm. You're not working on anything anymore? Build a mine. No, you're working on the mine, so why the hell? You constructed an elder council in office. Oh, god damn, I'm looking at the wrong unit. Well, that took way longer than it should. Okay, so anyway, uh, build me. Hmm. There is usually a possibility to... Nope, nope, nope. Uh, we could clear out this vegetation. What is it? Forest Plains. Okay, we'll try to clear that out so that we can build a farm there, but we really need to check what's uh, costing us this money. Uh, crime is not a problem, right? 80 plus 5, okay, there seems to be a problem with crime here. 
God damn. Well, this increase in difficulty is uh, way more significant than I expected it to be. Yep, to go to Ninurta, 150. Okay, that's also increasing everything. <laughs> Fuck. Come on here. 72, 45, 65, 55, 74, 101, 107, 80. Okay, 80 in the capital, so it seems it's really just Kuti that spiraled into insane problems. Hmm, how far are we from... We spoke about this last time. How far are we from Town Watch? Very close. Uh, that's basically just Holy and then it's Masonry. So let's go with Irrigation first, then Masonry and then trade. Wait, no. Irrigation, then masonry, then trade. Like this. Okay. We need that thing. Like, right now. <laughs> because otherwise, we'll face a huge revolt. But I'm expecting this to make things a bit more interesting for us. You can see that it already had a massive impact. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. Let's see what that storage tower is gonna do for us here. I'm quite interested. So if you cut this away... There's a lumber camp, I'm thinking. No, what's... Let's not do that then. No real reason to go here. There's a lumber camp over there. Actually, you know what, let's uh, check out these two tiles, we'll try to at least upgrade the roads, if nothing else. A cut will grow to size 7, okay, perfect. Thank God for that insane amount of gold that we have, it's gonna be a good buffer for the next few decades, because god damn. Let me sip on my tea. So what's happening here? Plus one if the sacrifice cult tech is known. Construct fire dance. How about no? Construct nature dance. Construct rain dance. Okay, rain dance it is. Then gives us an extra citizen. Because we have an extra happiness. And jump rope will further help with this. Okay, but crime is really out, spiraling out of control. Uh, we need that fucking town watch yesterday. This is not gonna go well for us. But you know, if we manage to get that uh, town watch in Tokuti Ninurta, it's gonna decrease it and I think that I really might just uh, phase out some units. We have way too many of them already uh, to lower cost and uh, instead put Town Watch to each city. They're way stronger as a defensive unit as well, so... But the wetlands camp... No, 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 not really. Oh, I can upgrade the unit to Elephant Worker, Buffalo Worker, or Dog Worker. Nope, let's build a mud path instead. So what are you doing here? You finished... Ah, uh, a plant gathering camp. Okay, we have that cotton here. Okay, make a path. And that should help the city to be cool. Okay. The money problem went down a bit. I suspect that might be to go to Nunta uh, becoming a bit more content. 
We'll see if that makes any change after we put the jump rope. Mm-hmm. Come -hmm. yeah, on, game. I can deal with 29 though. Even if only by putting, for example, um, a cut on. Uh, what is it called? Uh, not Minger. Minger Wolf, but uh, Minor Wolf now. Sand paintings were completed in Samaria, that's good. Carpenter's workshop is next. Boatyard in Nippur. It makes me generally happy. Oh god, it's getting laggier and laggier every turn as uh, the demand on the CPU grows. Okay, jump rope is finished in Tukuti Nurta, so it is no longer unhappy. That's good. And what is this? Uh, those are tree carvings or something? Indoor Kurigalzu. I'm not entirely sure. Tree carvings, yes. Tukuti Nurta became happy. I really think that crime... Oh, oh my god, crime mugging! I haven't even seen this before. Fuck. This is getting ridiculous. But everyone else seems to be doing okay for... Nope. Sipur has a growing crime. So we'll need to make a bit of a change in the plan here. Do we have some crucifixion? That seems like a great solution. We have the outpost and anything else that we could build that would make the crime go away. And really, a seaweed farm will go. So we'll skin our and this. Nope, nope. It's, it really seems like. Oh, Sentry Post. Okay, put me a Sentry Post. That's gonna be uh, the best solution. Opis has crime as well, right? Yeah, fighting. Hmm, but we already have that. Uh, I mean, the Sentry Post, so. Next should probably be crucifixion. That will cost something, but or we could no, let's build stoning. It's gonna be better. Here oh my god, plus six. Something has to be done here as well. Look at how I'm killing the economy one city at a time. But yeah, increased difficulty will make things uh, a bit more... Oh no, not you! You too? Plus three in the capital? Okay, sentry post. We didn't have to before, but now we have to. 89. There is no need for sentry post here. Let's just build crucifixion. Plus four. That's a sentry post? No, that's crucifixion. And you. Crime. Yeah, we're gonna crucify people everywhere. Somehow that <laughs> Jesus had to came to pass, right? So we're making perfect, perfect place for it to start. Okay, nothing here, and a, a well, quite increasing crime here, Sentry Post. Okay, we're back to square zero. So this is gonna kill our economy for a couple of turns, but as mentioned, we have the buffer of a very high amount of gold. Now, as we are increasing the difficulty, I have a proposal. We might want to attack and... Well, we don't have to kill them, but uh, maybe it would be cool to lower 
the Sumerian influence in here. Also, where are the Tupi? I think it's these guys, right? Yeah. Ashoka, so that's Indian nation. We haven't really came into contact with the Tupi that much. That's interesting. Hmm. It's really interesting. We don't know that much about them at all. They have six cities. And they're almost at our strength. We can see most of what they are researching though, so... It's actually pretty cool. We're getting no tech diffusion though, so we are at the height of uh, the culture. Well, culture, at the height of uh, the technology pyramid, I would say. But still, one might guess that it's not going to be like this forever. But the growth that we have established later is going to be perfect for us. Uh, with this sentry post, yeah, the crime is going down in the capital. But we really, 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 really need the masonry. But irrigation is a bit, well, it's not a bit more important, but we already started it. That's how I would... Uh, <laughs> say uh, it goes too bad we can't have writing yet because I love open borders but they're going down here and raising a couple of cities maybe just destroying for example Lagash and Kish Kish Lagash and Kish would allow us to gain some prisoners and bring them to Babylon because I know, I know, I'm a bit obsessed uh, about this but I would really like it if Babylon was the biggest city in the world. I, I like when that happens and so far it has 4,000 people which is, you know, nothing so spectacular. Ah, the tea. The tea. Okay, you finished uh, a mine here, that's good. Anything you could build here? Lumber camp. There's something a bit more interesting that we could build now. Samaria will grow. Oh yes, it has grown and now it has pests. <laughs> it's just great. Great, everything is going fine. We're doing great. But I kind of find it funny that the Kultini North like, became unhappy now, wasn't it a problem before as well? Maybe I just completely missed on the whole problem with, uh, with the crime. No, the city is... Oh, I don't even want to look at that, it's just so bad. <laughs> 